Hey YouTube, what's up? This is your boy DJ Troy. Hope everybody is having a wonderful January 13th, 2015. Okay, so let's get into all the trending topics that has been happening over the weekend. Of course, number one on most guys list in America is that championship game last night between Oregon State and Ohio State. Boy, it was victorious. Boy, it was glorious. It was an awesome game. Congratulations to Ohio State for beating Oregon and making, our, making Ohio State the number one college football team in America. There's no denying, there's no nothing. It is the number one college team in America. Go Ohio. Shoutouts to all the players and the entire faculty and staff at Ohio State University. And I know everyone is extremely, extremely excited and happy for that wonderful championship that they won last night. Go Ohio. Now, moving on to another thing that happened last night on TV was of course The Bachelor. For anybody who isn't familiar with The Bachelor, it's a dating reality show that I made comments on um, a couple of nights ago and <laughs> it it's, it's getting even hotter this season. Apparently there was a contestant on the show and she was, how can I put this? <laughs> She was distraught because she didn't get a rose. Now, when for the opening season of The Bachelor last week, this woman was drinking, drinking, and drinking, and more drinking. Okay? Now, if you are there to date someone, and you know you have an alcohol problem, <laughs> a total stranger, don't you think that they're going to take notice of that? Come on. There's no way that farmer guy is going to keep that girl on The Bachelor. It's not going to happen. You know, so he did the right thing by getting rid of her. Now, interestingly, okay, there's another individual on the show that she keeps on staying. And it's, it's, there's two people that I'm going to talk about. It's another individual on the show. Her name is Ashley. And she got a rose last week. Then she got a rose this week. Now, Ashley is one of these, I don't know what to say, but weird type. Okay. She is very crazy. Okay. Um, you don't know where she's coming from. You don't know what she's gonna do. You don't know she's unpredictable. But for some reason, okay, farmer guy keeps her on the show. I don't know why. I could tell you from the outside looking in, she's a very pretty girl, okay? So I don't know if he's smitten by those blue eyes, but her action just seems very strange, okay? so. Maybe she she's going to get canned next week. Now, there's another individual on the show. I'm not remembering her name right now. But she's there running around on The Bachelor saying that Farmer Guy or Chris is her boyfriend. Now, <laughs> for all the people who are watching The Bachelor... <laughs> You know that Chris is going to can this girl quick, okay? Because, you know, for all of my future contestants who are going to see this video, you know, when you go on The Bachelor, you have to keep an open mind, okay? You are literally competing against 30-something beautiful women. I'm not telling you that they're half decent. I'm telling you gorgeous okay and the only thing that separates you from the next girl is your attitude because looks wise you have won the genetic pool 
okay? There, you know, you can't lose in that area, you know? So what, you know, what is interesting about The Bachelor is that many of these girls, I think, for the first time or maybe the first time in their life, they're placed in a situation where they cannot rely on their beauties. So it's all about their attitude. It's all about, you know, who they are. And I think it freaks a lot of them out. It's a very interesting concept where for the first time in most of these girls' lives, they're like, okay, my beauty doesn't work here. Okay, this guy is not going to get be caught by, you know, my sense of, you know, style or whatever because everybody is stylish my beauty everybody's beautiful okay the only thing that's going to separate you from the pack is that your attitude the way you approach you know pharma guy and i think you know a lot of people are freaking out because of that they're going but non bonkers actually so let's uh see what happens and to get back to my original point of the girl who's on the show, show who feels that she's entitled to Chris because I think she kissed him on the first episode. Um, you know, she's going to get canned because what happens is that you have to keep an open mind on the show. Like, you know, you're, you're, you're not computing by, you know, with yourself. There are other people there and maybe the chemistry that he feels with you, he also feels it with somebody else. Okay, so... You know, she's going to get canned. She's going to get hurt because she's there. Oh, oh, I feel like if he's my boyfriend. No, he's not your boyfriend. You're another contestant on the show. You have to see what's going to happen. Okay? You're going to get hurt. <laughs> so, I spent um, a decent five minutes talking about The Bachelor. I'm sorry, but it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's a very fun show. Okay, moving on to the crisis um, situation that is happening in France. Um, it has already happened. Yes, I know um, a lot of people got killed. 17 people in all actuality got killed, including a gunman. And there was a huge march on Sunday. And... <laughs> The White House made a huge gaffe, and I don't know how this happened, but there was dignitaries from all over the world, the most powerful dignitaries in the world, and the White House sent a low-level representative. I mean, the American ambassador in France, it's a pretty big deal, but when you look at France and you see all the world leaders from Germany, from Britain, it's like, okay, ah, uh, I think it's a scratch of the head moment for the White House there. So they screwed this one up um, and you know, there's just no other way to put it. They, they screwed it up. Um, the White House should have really sent a high ranking official secretary of state um the vice president somebody other than the ambassador in france for that march and um condolences again to all those who have lost their lives um the magazine um charlie ebbo they're supposed to be running another um picture of um, Prophet Muhammad on their front page um, with, a, with the title, um, All is Forgiven. And, you know, I, <laughs> I have mixed feelings about it. Um, you know, on one hand, yes, we all want free speech. On another hand, you know that within an entire religion, they absolutely do not put up pictures of the prophet anywhere. You know, that's, <laughs> you know, so I think there's freedom of speech, yes, but also too, I think that, you know, 
to consider other people's feelings. You know, you sort of have to toe that fine line. So, you know, let's see. You know, let's see what happens. But um, my condolences to all those who have perished in that disaster. Also, to in Nigeria, um, they're dealing with their own problems. Um, Boko Haram, you know, they have reportedly massacred 2,000 people, bodies everywhere, and the government has no involvement. The United States um, has no involvement. Um, it's just sad for that nation in particular because you wonder um, what's gonna happen next. Like, what are, you know, what is the Nigerian government gonna do? And th there, there just isn't any easy answer. You know, there just isn't any easy answer. So I'll keep you posted on, you know, what's going on with that. So moving on to the Golden Globes. Um, George Clooney's acceptance speech for his Lifetime Achievement Award was it. You know, everybody, you know, widely accepted it. But again, you know, there was controversies. And, you know, with these things, you know, no one, unfortunately, no one is going to get views and get clicks about, you know, everything going fine. People want drama. And the drama is that everyone mentioned the people or the 17 people being killed in France, but nobody mentioned the 2,000 people that was killed in, Bo in Nigeria with Boko Haram. So that was the you know, hiccup for the Golden Globes. Also, too, um, on the celebrity side, um, you know... Miss Selena Gomez was seen with uh, DJ Z, and why this is important is that I think we all are happy for Selena <laughs> Gomez because the whole Justin Bieber fiasco is, you know, probably a nightmare for everyone to hear about, you know, her and Justin Bieber, so her moving on is very helpful to the world. So if she is actually move on, amen and Godspeed to her. Um, <laughs> you know, it's 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 just you know the, the things that we talk about. So I would just like to finish off by saying um, I hope everyone have a wonderful Monday. I know the people who are gonna probably see this video um, in the United States are in eastern and mountain time and in california they're gonna see it over there too but for the people across the world it's night time there so um good night to you guys and um you know always remember that it's critical that you take care of what's important to you and your entire family and um there should be more contents coming up so Peace out. Thank you for watching. I hope that you were ent entertained. I hope that you were informed. Please um, like, share, and, you know, continue clicking, okay? This is your boy, DJ Troy. You know, peace out. Have a good day.